Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to prepare for Sister Patrick's. And of course, as you all know, Sister Patrick's comes out in March. And since it's already March, it's going to come out sooner or later. So I'm going to teach you guys how to prepare for Sister Patrick's. So yeah, let's start with the video. So before the video starts, I do want to say here's the winner on the screen right now. This is the person who has won the code from the last video. If you also want to have a chance to win the code, all you got to do is go to the world elite code, enter the world and go to the right side, read all these signs and basically on the bulletin board, put your Instagram. So I have a way to contact you if I pick you to get the code. And if you win the code, all you got to do is go to the store, scroll to the bottom. And as you can see, it says redeem code portal. So you can enter the code that I will give you through DMs and you will be able to get your own price. So yeah, let's start with the video. The first thing you can do is on how to prepare for Sister Patrick's is of course to prepare your gems. There's going to be new items that are going to come out in Sister Patrick's. For an example, you can get 250,000 gems for the Blarney Bonanza. On Blarney Bonanza is when a new random Sister Patrick's item has come out. So if you're one of the first to buy the item, that the selling price at first is going to be really high. So you can buy that with gems and sell for Warlocks for more profit for yourself. Of course, by getting gems, you can either farm the gems with your farmables or buy the gems. But I do recommend farming because that it will be much cheaper for you rather than buying gems because gems are really expensive. So I recommend farming. But if you have enough diamond locks and BGLs, then of course you can also buy gems. The second thing I recommend is to prepare your farmables. If you don't know, you can prepare farmables like pepper, fish tank, elk grids basically what you do is you use your farmables with high rarity and you give them for giant pot of gold by donating high rarity you get more items you might get old items but you also have a chance to get new items so that's also a great way to get new items the third thing you can do is with lucky clovers you can get lucky clovers usually during the start of the event lucky clovers are way cheaper than after the event they sell for way more rolex what you can do is you can buy lucky clovers for cheap and just sell them later after the event is over for more expensive so what you can do is you can buy lucky clovers for really cheap at the start of the event and usually during the event they are really cheap because they drop and uh, of course after the event they're gonna rise again and be more expensive than they are during the event so you can do that for profit and another thing you can do is with clovers is of course if you're a farmer you can use the clover and farm it well farming you also have a chance to get a money aura if you didn't know money aura currently as the price i'm checking is 40 diamond it's also a great way to gamble but it's also good for the farmers because pretty much all you do is you just farm your own blocks and you also get a lucky clover so you also have an extra chance to get a money aura while breaking blocks i do recommend getting farmables that you don't need to punch a lot like fish tanks is three punch or you can use the bountiful lattice fence with 150 per wall lock which is also a three punch item just like the fish tanks that is also a really good option in those 30 minutes you are able to break more farmables than you would do with like a chain layer that is five hits or if you really don't want to farm there's another way which is way faster for gambling but the thing about this you can use a digger spade and pretty much break dirt and cave backgrounds that means you're breaking way more blocks than you would do with farmables because it's just one punch farmables you at least get gems and seeds while dirt and cave you just get dirt and cave seeds might be a total loss if you do the digger spade method but those are the two methods if you do the farming method, you obviously you won't lose as much. You still gain seeds and gems. Dirt and cave blocks, it's just pure gamble because you don't really profit because seeds are like 200 dirt seeds or cave background pro blocks. So it's not really focused on profit, but more on gambling. But if you do get the money aura, it is 40 down blocks. So yeah, that is a lot of profit right there. The next thing you can do is get Sister Patrick achievements. There's three achievements you can get in Sister Patrick's, which is Four Leaves achievement, Little Green man achievement and got lucky charms achievement you can actually do only two achievements during the event and you can't do it outside of the event which is earned for defeating patty O'Malis, which is a Sister patrick's villain and also little green man which is you get 10 blarney pebbles from doing the part 
and then you can get this achievement by kissing the Blarney Stone, and you get the little Leprechaun guy. Trying to get Proto Track, you should do these achievements that you need for the Proto Track. Also, if you're just an achievement hunter, you can do these. Man, maybe if you're interested in crime, there's a chance that tools during Sir Patrick's crime related could rise. And also crime waves during the fact that people will do these achievements. So this is one of the things you guys can do is you can buy crime tools and sell it during the event. But I don't know if this is actually really popular. I haven't really heard anything about these. And of course a classic one is by Blarney. You do Blarney parkours and every time you kiss the Blarney pebble you have a chance of getting new items. While doing the Blarney parkours there's also of course the daily challenge. If you're really good at parkour so you can try to get in top three and get those daily challenge items for yourself for more profit and also around the parkour world they usually spawn emerald charts which are around the parkour world they're pretty expensive though so those are good things to get if you see them dropped around the learning world and the last thing you can do is you can get cod bait and pretty much during the sister patrick's you can fish special fish like the rainbow fish that is only possible during the sister patrick's and for an example while you're fishing the caught bait you can get yourself a perfect rainbow fish which during right now is 60 world locks and you can sell them for pretty much for profit those perfect rainbow fishes or if you want you can try to train those fishes and try to get the rainbow cape which right now is two dime locks and ten world locks there's also a thing you can do and yeah those are really all the tips i can give you for such a patrick's i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did be sure to subscribe though for more videos like this so if you like the video so i know you guys enjoyed these types of videos and yeah comment down below what you thought of this video see you guys next time good Bye.